So I'm quickly filming my intro now. So today I've got a vlog with Spud. Um, I did just grab him, then tack him up. I didn't film the tacking up, but I did film me getting him, doing a little dance for him and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And then here is the outfit that I decided to wear because I had pink nails. Hope you enjoy. Hey, Spuddy boy. <laughs> <laughs> if you must. So here I just asked if I could kiss Spud to my um, mum and she was like, if you must, but he was not feeling it. He did not want me to kiss him, so that didn't really go well. Right, come on. Okay, you've, got, you've got a lesson. Yeah, enjoy my dancing. Anyway, here we were trying to get him out because we had a lesson, we were late and we had to get him tacked up. So we just quickly brought him out and then tacked him up. We had a bit of help, that's why we didn't film it, it was just a bit awkward. But yeah, this is me bringing him out and then I think I'll just skip to the riding part. I'm just going to do voiceovers today because I don't want to Hawaiian get copyrighted. Spud. But here we were just doing it some trotting. So we did quite a lot of trotting because he wasn't summery. really warmed up. Well, he was warmed up before because he'd been. We saw him just galloping around in the field, so we went straight into canter there. Uh, well, we did a bit of trotting first, but yeah, he'd already been warmed up. So here we had to do. Um, we did a lot of trotting, but so I didn't really know what to go the trot jumps in. Uh, Canter or trot because they were literally like poles. I think mean, they might be a bit smaller. It's like a cross pole, but made out of really skinny poles. So they looked very small. But here oh, you'll see I look absolutely trash going over that one. Okay, she was just telling me the course because we were all warmed up, um, but we also just put the jumps a bit higher. A coconut drink or a, a mocktail. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to talk you around the course now. So we went over the black one, over to this purple one. We do make them a bit higher next time if you're thinking they look bigger from the other side. And then we went over the, um, is it the blue and the reds this time? Yeah, but I had a lot of trouble with that corner. You might think it's easy, but um, he keeps he kept speeding up at that corner because he thinks we're going down, like we're going large, but we're not. So it's quite hard for me to keep him under control. Anyway, I think then we yeah then we came back over the purple and red ones, but I think these were a bit raised this time. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think the purple one was raised though. So we popped that one nicely. I still need to work on my position. I do just I put my hands forward, but sometimes I lean up a bit. When I'm not really I don't really do hunter, I just do jumpers. So that's a bit confusing. Anyway, then we popped over this one. I think the back pole is raised a bit. Yeah. The back cross pole is raised a bit. And anyway, then we I think we went over these ones, so we didn't really do this much, we changed the course. So we went over the um gate, but we popped that yellow one, which I kind of flew over my eyes, looked a bit weird. And then we popped the water tray. We're still oh getting gosh, you're flying! Because we have a bit of spookiness there. So then we had a walk. So here we popped the red jump with the blue jump a bit nicer this time. The corner was a lot nicer, it looked a lot smoother. It was a bit raised I think, but not that much, it does go a bit, bit higher later. We changed the course a lot here, so we went over this like upright here and then we went down over a gate. You can't really see the gate here, but you can see the gate when we move. You can see the um, jump up there and you can see the gate a lot better, but it was a gate with a pot on top basically.
Okay, so I did the corner. You might think I was going over that upright. No, I came round and I came over the black and purple again, but the black one was... No, the purple one had been gone up a bit, so I don't know how big that was. I'm going to guess 80? 70? 85? Maybe 70? I'm not actually too sure. <laughs> anyway, then we came back over the blue and the reds, and then you can see the gate with the pole on top with the orange wings. That's what we came over the next time. It's not a hard turn, I would say, but... um like you've got to really tell him where he's going so we had to turn here which was a bit messy but yeah anyway then you have to turn in between the black ones which i always get confused with and then do that and then we put the game nicely um to finish off but that was quite good so we popped back over the red gate before we raised it a few so that was quite fun but mum also moved so yeah anyway i always look behind me because i always hear the banging but i need to learn to not do that because if you look behind you bad luck so i did that the next time i went over it when it was raised but then the last time around i went no i'm not looking behind me i didn't even focus on my position i looked a bit bad anyway here it was it was raised but i looked uh i wouldn't say good but a bit bad anyway that corner was um a bit bad i came really slowly so i had to turn around again but as you can see here my position is a lot better than the second time round. but i look behind me silly me Anyway, this time round, my position looks absolutely terrible, but I didn't hear the banging noise. Because if I heard the banging noise, I immediately looked behind me, but I didn't hear the banging noise this time, so I didn't look behind me, and I'm just learning not to look behind me even if I do hear the banging noise. So, you know, we're good. So we took some photos to finish off, which were, I think, were quite nice, because we were wearing all pink, so, you know. I was maybe, I would have maybe gone in the field, but um, I'd rather take a nice picture with Spud. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, we got him to stand still and then uh, my trainer was like, okay, I'll throw some sand in here to make him look a bit better because he did not have his ears forward, he was a bit grumpy. But here he had his ears forward, so that was good because she chucked some sand. Anyway, here are the few last pictures. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time I do a vlog.